Overwhelm us is by dividing us. If you are an agent of Fulani Caliphate, if you have come to do the bidding of Fulani Janjaweed in our land, I am asking you this very evening to retrace your steps. Because again, starting from this very day, anywhere your friends are killed, any governor, any police commissioner who will tolerate the massacre of innocent people, we will pay very dearly for it. We will pay very, very dearly for it. I will be, I have not just I will, I have become your last bus stop. And said it from the beginning till now. I will be your end until the Afra come. Hey, 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 and what we want to make abundantly clear is that we are warning everybody who is a stakeholder in the zoo about our determination and our resolve to ensure that our land is defended. This is a resolution we have reached and it is cast in stone. Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. I appreciate Thank all you. of you who have joined. No matter where you are joining from, I mentioned your name. I didn't mention your name. I appreciate you. You are very, very welcome. You are very welcome. Atomben Coach Austin, I thank you for joining. Chimetu Chuku, thank you for joining. Chuku Uche Chuku, thank you for joining. Any place you are joining from, I say, me Chuku Kukabiyama. Guide and protect you and secure you. Any place you are connecting from, may Chuko Kaga be your strength. May Chuko Kagama give you the strength to continue to do that which is right until that time that we go. Tiger Chica, thank you for joining. Kinsley Isaac, thank you for joining. If I mention your name, I didn't mention your name, please. You are respected and you are welcome. Justice Okoa, thank you for joining. Any place you are joining from, I say may Chukukagyama continue to guide you, protect you, and secure you. For somebody who was asking a question of where I belong, where I belong, you see, I, do, I don't like to see those kind of questions. When you come to a platform, it's better you listen to what the person has to say, then you can be able to conclude yourself and know where the person is coming from. But if you are joining me for the first time, on this web program, you have to have it at the back of your mind that as you are here, you are listening to an autopiloted platform, autopiloted by Chukwu Kukabiyama, under the spokesmanship of my Simon Eber and on the list of the that That is where I stand. We speak the truth and nothing but the truth. Pursuing and following the truth and speaking up for the freedom of Biafran people. That is what I do here. There is no other agenda I have here. This platform is for Biafra. This, this platform is for Biafra restoration and nothing else. And we speak the truth. We don't push propaganda. We don't blackmail. We don't attack people. We don't lie against people. We are concentrating on encouraging our fellow Biafrans, regardless your religion, regardless your faith, regardless where you claim to belong. If you come here, you're going to be encouraged. All you got to do is to keep your mind clean. Keep your mind clean and stand for the truth. As long as you stand for the truth, you are going to be comfortable here. This is an autopiloted platform under the spokesmanship of Mazda Simon Eba and the religion of Mazda Nandikano. We stand straight. If you see the topic I chose here, Mazda Nandikano himself told us that consistency is the key. Mazda Nandikano himself said it, consistency is the key. He said it to Biafra. 
He told you and I that consistency is the key. But so many of us have forgotten. Immediately, Martin Nandekan was kidnapped. So many of us began to do different things altogether. They began to do different things for what they have been doing. Some people who supposedly are Biafra agitators, most of them have turned to campaign managers today. People who are supposed to be fighting for their freedom, speaking of their people, they have changed their tune and they are singing a different song today. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how you try to how you try to tell your lies against your brothers. Let me tell you, you can never succeed. I stand on the message of Mazen Dandekano and every autopiloted member is building on the foundation led by Mazen Dandekano himself. That foundation that was led by Mazen Dandekano, that is where we are building. We are not laying any foundation. We are not laying any new foundation. We are building on that foundation of Mazen a strong foundation built on a rock. Mazen Nandekanu laid a strong foundation for the acquisition of Biafra on the rock. That is why Mazen Nandekanu will tell you that you cannot destroy IPOB. You cannot destroy IPOB. Today, the autopiloted IPOB, autopiloted by Chukwu Kadema himself, under the spokesmanship of Mazen Nandekanu and on the leadership of Mazen Nandekanu, we are still remaining the same. Consistency personified. We can't change. It doesn't matter what the whole, if, if everybody decides to sing a different song, we will continue to stand on that foundation laid by Mazin Nandekan. We will continue to build on the foundation of Mazin Nandekan. We will continue to protect the legacy of Mazin Nandekan, and no man, born of a woman, can change it. No man. It doesn't matter. Even if you are in auto, autopilot today, if you are autopiloted today and tomorrow, the death will take over you. We will continue. We are not going to stop. We wouldn't mind you. You will be thrown to the dustbin and will move ahead. As our spokesperson, Mazen Simon Eka, has said, our problem today, our problem today is the caliphate itself, the enemy itself, the, the zoological republic. That is our problem. Our problem is how to end the slavery, end the occupation of Biafra land. It is not, our problem is not black men, the blackmailers. Our problem is not the distractors. Our problem is not our brothers and sisters who have fail to open up their brain and receive sense. They are not our problem. We are focusing on the real enemy. We are focusing on the real enemy. And as soon as we bring the real enemy down, our problem will be solved. 90% of our problem will be gone. When we bring the enemy down, 90% of our problem will be solved. The remaining 10% that is there, when we get back home, we will resolve our issues. We will resolve our issues with our brothers. That is why you must have it at the back of your mind that today we are focusing on the real enemy. Because it is no longer business as usual. It is no longer shouting and crying and complaining. And we are standing on that demand that Mazin Nani can have made from the day one when he started this very struggle. This struggle that Mazin Nani can started in this generation, he started it asking and demanding for the referendum of the Biafran people. That is what he has been asking for. And that is where we stand. Consistency, consistency personified. Mazin Nadekano said it. That is the only way you can be able to overcome. It's not today you are talking about Biafra and tomorrow you are talking about the Igbo, Igbo presidency. The next minute you are talking about the election. The next minute you are talking about restructuring. The next minute you are, you are a confused person. And in that manner, you cannot be able to make any sense. You cannot be able to actualize your freedom. The only way we Biafran freedom can be assured is by being consistent. If you are not consistent, already you are out of line. And in being consistent, do not listen to the politicians because politicians themselves, they are instruments in the hand of the British and the Caliphate. Every single politician, don't listen to them. Starting from your local government chairman to the presidency, do not listen to them. Don't trust any one of them. Do not trust any politician or listen to them. Starting from your local government chairman, every single one of them, they are paying allegiance to the Fulani Caliphate. They are paying allegiance to the Fulani Caliphate. They are protecting the image and the legacy of the British. Making sure that the instrument that British put in place to subdue you continue to work. That is it. That is what I do. Do not trust anybody, anybody that opens his mouth and begins to campaign for election. Even if it is your brother, even if it is your father that is trying to contest for presidency, whoever it is, 
and that person is going to contest for any post in the Zulaka probably run for that person. He is your enemy. He is your enemy. He doesn't mean it well. And this message is for everybody in the southern part, in, part of Nigeria mainly. Everybody in the southern part of Nigeria and in extension to every indigenous person in the Zulaka Republic. Every indigenous person in the Zulaka Republic, anybody they present to you as a representative is not representing you. They are representing the British and the Caliphate. They are representing themselves and not you. And if you want to continue to deceive yourself, continue to deceive yourself that you have a representative in your local government, you have a representative in your state, you have a representative in the federal, you are deceiving yourself and you are giving yourself out. Giving yourself out. For, for, you, you are committing suicide. You are just selling yourself out. Anybody, it doesn't matter what they are, remind you that is a beer for you. Looking, if you are sincerely searching for your freedom, regardless of where you are coming from, regardless of your tribe or your religion, and you sincerely need freedom in that zoological republic, you must remain and continue to demand for referendum. That is the only thing that can give us freedom. That is the only thing. Mazem Nandekano, whom every one of us is using his image. Every single one of us have rallied around Mazen Nandekan, including those that hate him. Including those that hate him, they use the name of Mazen Nandekan to become relevant. Including those we know that they hate Mazen Nandekan with all God. Today, they are using him, his name, to become relevant. This is what is happening. People we know, we know that these people, they were attacking Mazen Nandekan while he was with us. They were hating Mazen Nandekan while he was with us. Today, you see every one of them. They are now using the name of Mazen Nandekan to confuse you and deceive you. They play his music, they play his, uh, his, his prayers, they use his picture, they call Biafra, Biafra. But at the end of the day, look down deeply what are they pursuing. Are they following the legacy of that man? They are mentioning his name. I remind you again, in this platform, our, our memory verse in this platform is what? Consistency personified. Consistency personified, that is the memory verse in this channel. All we are asking for is Biafra and nothing else. Grant us a referendum for us to take our country and go. Because they know very well, even without them conducting the referendum, we have conducted that referendum again and again. We are conducting the referendum even without their knowledge every Monday. Every Monday, the referendum is going to... Even their politicians and their governors, they are participating in the referendum and they have all voted yes that Biafra must go. But only because these people are cowards. Lily Levan people, bunch of cowards, that is why they cannot stand firm and present the demand of their people. You see why I tell you that none of me representing you. If the people that the Caliphate and the British have chosen for you if they are sincerely representing you, the only thing they will be discussing in their House of Assembly today and House of Sinners is how to disintegrate the Zulika Republic. If the people that are representing you, those people who claim to be representing you, if they were there because of you and I, the Southwest people, the Ududua people, and the Biafra people that are in the House of Assembly, in the House of Sinners, if truly, truly, sincerely they are there representing you and I, what they are supposed to be discussing in the House of Assembly today, in the Senate today, is what? Referendum. Referendum. Referendum is supposed to be the thing, the only thing they will be discussing, and nothing else. But because they are not there for me, they are not there for you, it doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter your tribe, it doesn't matter your religion, they are not there for any one of us, they are there for their selfish interest. Making sure that the oil continues to pump to the British, making sure that the full and takes over your land and make them relevant. That is what they're after, not for you. And this is what they continue to do, and they will continue to do, and they will continue to do until we get out of the Zulu Republic. That is why it is mandatory. It is mandatory that if you love yourself and you mean well for yourself, if you love yourself and you are sensible, what you have to be doing today is to continue to find a way to do what you have to do to see that Biafra comes today and tomorrow. The struggle of Biafra is not only to liberate Biafran people. I say it and I say it again. The freedom of Biafra is going to be so infectious. It will be so infectious that it will break that cage.
that cage that is holding people back, it will break it into pieces and every indigenous tribe will be free on their own. Biafra we are fighting for is not for us to dominate anybody. It is not for us to control anybody. It is not for, for us to take anybody's land. It is not for us to, to begin to direct anybody. It is for every single indigenous tribe to have their own freedom. Able to decide their own self. Decide by themselves what they want to do. Grow at their own pace. And again, take a decision on what they want to do. Whatever resources that you have been given them, they will use it. That is the Biafra we are looking for. It is not a Biafra. Focus on one resource. So every single land in that zoological republic, mainly in Biafra and every state, have a mineral resources that can sustain them. They have mineral resources that can sustain them. Even, let me tell you, the brains, the brains we have in this in the Biafra land can sustain Biafra land without mineral resources. The brains we have, the services the Biafra people can render, services, services is the most expensive thing in the world today. Countries that render service, they are the richest country of the world today. It is not, it's not people that have resources. It is not people that have minerals on the ground. The richest country we have in the planet today are the country that gives out the biggest amount of service. And Biafrans, we have a lot of service to give. Biafrans are brain. We are full of brain. Full of brain. Biafrans are full of brain. Why are we, why must we allow ourselves to be caged? Why must you allow yourself to be caged by people who do not want to improve themselves? That is the most painful thing. The people who is not even that they are caging us for them to improve and then match up. They are not ready to improve themselves and they don't want you to improve. And you think it's okay. People who are not ready to improve themselves. Our our elder Pa'aya Dobenjo from Rudwala, Pa'aya Dobenjo said it that these are the most backward people. The Fulanese, the Fulani Caliphate, the most backward people you have. They have held, they are the ones that have held Nigeria so backward that he cannot move an inch and they don't want to move. That same statement that Fabelo made when they were going for independence. Why Dr. Nandaziki and Awolo were going for independence? Tafawa Belo was saying that he's not ready, that the North are not ready. Tafawa Belo was saying that the North are not ready, they cannot match up. Up to today, the northern part of Nigeria, which is controlled by the Fulanese, are not ready for independence. They are still dependent. They, are, they want to be dependent forever. That is why every well-meaning person, mainly in Biafra land, should stand up and the time has come. As we have entered into this liberation, everybody must participate for us to free ourselves by fire, by force. In 2023, we must get out of the zoo. We must. It is a must. If you don't agree, we agree for you. If you are a Biafra, you don't agree that we get out of the Soledad Republic, we will help you to agree. In this region, in this regime, in this generation, we are going to help you to agree and we must free you by force. That is where we are today. That is where we are. So if you think you can be playing that you're one Nigerian nonsense, you are deceiving yourself. Whether you like it or not, 2023, Biafra will come. It doesn't matter with what you do. It doesn't matter. If you like, go and become a saboteur. If you like, go and start the planning on how to stop it. You are only destroying yourself and you are only stopping, you are only putting an end to your own life. Each time you make such move, you are putting an end to your own life. And I pity you. I pity you. I pity you. How can a same person continue to remain in a place where there is no plan for growth. The only plan they have in the Zulu Republic is how to create division, how to create problem, how to create insecurity, how to defraud people. That is what they do. That is the only thing the Fulanese have planned. Right from the very first time Osman Damfudio entered Nigeria, the first criminal, the first froster that entered into Nigeria was Osman Damfudio, a froster, a terrorist. He came he came into Nigeria with his fraudulent attitude. Old man Danfurio entered Nigeria with fraud, with lies and deceits. And he deceived the Hausa people. He defrauded the Hausa people, telling them that their kings and their priests are evil, that they are corrupt. With the message of corrupt, 
corruption. The same message that the late Muhammad Wari brought that they have used to destroy Nigeria. After the Hausa supported that idea of corruption, Hausa by themselves went and killed all their leaders, destroyed all their legacy and their leaders, and they embraced the Fulanis. Today, you have seen that Hausa have nothing anymore. The only thing the Hausa have today is only their language and nothing else. Every king you see in the north, they are all Fulanis connected. They are all Fulanis, Fulanis are in charge everywhere in the north. The North can the the the, the outsiders cannot be seen anyway. Even now, they no longer call themselves Hausa Fulani. They have now demarcated completely. You know, when they were deceiving the whole places, when they were deceiving people, they were calling themselves Hausa Fulani, Hausa Fulani. Until Mazin Nadi Kanu came on board and exposed them. Mazin Nadi Kanu came on board and exposed them and they can't hide anymore. Today, they are projecting themselves as Fulanis. If you want to talk about minority, they are the ones that are minority. Not only minority, they are foreigners. And yet, these foreigners are the ones who are controlling the Zoological Revolution to the support of the UK, to the support of the British. They have hold every, held everybody captive, creating problems, creating enmity, creating insecurity, creating death everywhere. Today, you see their new, new set of plans they are doing. You see their new role they are playing in the, in the Biafra land. The new role they are playing in Biafra land, the new magic they are doing in Biafra land, to distract the Biafra people, mainly our brothers in the coastal region, to distract them. Today, they throw corn to them, and all of them is fighting for that corn. In the coastal region of Biafra. And when we say that these people are evil, they think it's, they think it's a joke. The British is advising them every second of what to do. Why we are entering into the liberation of Biafra land, why they know they know very well that the liberation of Biafra land has started and we're entering to it. They threw a con to our brothers in the coastal region. The militants who claim to be fighting for their people, for the oppression of their people, who are supposed to join their own brothers and fight for total independence of Biafra land, and now they will have possession of their own resources and do whatever they want to do with it. They refuse to join their people and they throw con to them. Today, you see them fighting over pipeline. Fighting over pipeline security. And to tell you how smart the Fulanese can play for those who are stupid, they eventually just come and tell you that they, they, they discovered a pipe. A pipe they have used to be sucking oil. A pipe they have used. Go and check the videos where that pipe was left. You want to tell me that in a country, a whole country that have navy, their navy is destroying their coastal region every minute of the day. Their navy is pursuing and killing militants every day. Many people they are still killing and killing innocent people. Yet they could not see when those pipes were led. Not only one place, not two places. These are the ones they have shown you. They just decided to allow to reveal this one to distract your attention. The pipeline they, they are talking about today, the one they said they discovered, they intentionally allowed it for distraction. Today you see people in the coastal region. Everybody is shouting about pipeline. Like, oh, so they are sucking oil. So they are sucking oil. And they have now lost their focus on the restoration of freedom in their own name. They are talking about oil, oil and they have forgotten about the degradation of their own people. They have forgotten about the pollution, which is the major problem. Why some of some freedom fighters in that area have died? That pollution that have caused many people to die, including their freedom fighters who, who came out to fight. They have forgotten about him. Can you who is talking about him anymore? They are not. They don't. The Ogoni, Ogoni clean up without you. Sell who are dying for? What are they doing today? They are not talking about it today. It's the business on board today in the coastal region is about pipeline. Pipeline is the only thing on board in coastal region today. In coastal region of Biafra, and they think they can destroy. I thank you, Kuku Kabi, on that. In that same coastal region, we have people who are hardcore Biafrans. In that same coastal region, we have people who are hardcore Biafra, including the militants, those who are hardcore, and they are on board. Thank you, Kuo Kigabe, for our, 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 our spokesman, Martin Simon. Martin Simon was able to open his hand and let everybody come in. He opened his hand, opened, and invited everybody, come in and let us get our nation. When Biafra comes, every region will be on their own as a nation. Mazim Nandikan have said it uncountable times. 
But the foolish ones, the greedy ones, the self-centered ones, they don't want to listen. They are still listening to the ginger weed because of the peanuts they are getting. Because of the peanuts, they feel that it is only that it's only in that very zone where they can be relevant. In your area, when they come here, you're the only one living in the good house. You are the only one living in the good house, riding good cars, building their mansions. But the main people on the ground, the owners of the land, are suffering. They don't even have water. They cannot farm. They can't even fish. You are not consigned. They give you pipeline security. After being a pipeline security guard, what next? After protecting the pipeline to carry the oil to Niger Republic, to carry the oil to Britain, what next? What is there for you? That is how stupid some of them are. After you have collected money to guide a pipeline that would take your own mineral resources and take to another country to refine it and bring it, and they will steal the one they will steal. What next? Every sensible person should be asking for a free nation and not for any 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 pipeline to control. You should be fighting for your freedom. And I thank you for the BNL mainly. The BNL. Even when they were approached, even when BNL were approached in this their evil agenda, BNL said no. We are not part of it. All we are looking for is for our self-determination, Biafra. And there are so many other groups who are standing their ground. It is either Biafra or nothing. That is what Marjan Nanaka told us. Consistency personified. That is where my topic comes in. Consistency. If you know, the only thing that can make you know a real Biafra, a true agitator, a true is how consistent they have been. How consistent that they. What we are they doing and saying before Marjan was, was kidnapped, after Marjan Nanaka have been kidnapped, what are they doing and what have they done? What have they done and what are they saying? Today, you see some people endorsing evil, endorsing their slave master. You see some people talking about, they will tell you, let us give Peter B a chance. Give who a chance? Give a chance to the devil. The enemy only comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, and nothing else. That is what the devil does. The devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy, and nothing. That is the only project the devil has. After knowing that you are here telling me to give Peter Obi a chance, are you not mad? Are you, even when you know that Peter Obi himself will never, ever, ever smell a sorrow, he will never. And he's, he has begun to see it. He has begun to confess it. He has begun, his spokesperson recently have said that they don't have ground on the north. And the only place they will have problem is in the north. If you can have problem in the north, how then do you intend to go to Azarok? How? Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand on the way of freedom. So, you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to, make, to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom comes with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We we'll crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals, they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am a Nam Kano. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you are not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. You cannot go everywhere.
We must continue.